Oh, my breakfast. That is even more mental, bro. Bring us a Red Bull. So last night. Bring us a Red Bull breakfast. Hello. Eating it on my Herman Miller chair. It's taken a little bit to set this up. Lenovo. Cameras that short. Who knows, man? But hello, Ibrahim Alami. It's nice to speak to you. How are you enjoying career so far? Um, career's pretty nice. I'm yeah. surprised you know my real name. Usually, my uh, my. Do you know why? It's because last night I'm so jet lagged because I came from the UK mm -hmm. 15 hours. So last night I decided I, I just started singing your name like it was a John Legend song. Ibrahim. Ibrahim Olami <laughs> loves all of you. I haven't thought about that. No, my own that girlfriend. That could be a good thing. My own girlfriend doesn't even call me my, by my first name. She, she should learn should that song. Yeah, yeah, I'll sing it should. to you. Yeah, she should actually. That'd be really good. Wipe her up. Yeah. Bro, I, that, I don't fuck with that, by the way. Dude, if a girl calls me dumb, like, yeah. Yeah, she doesn't know me. I would instantly. If someone, if someone made my name into a John Legend song, that's crazy. That's a crazy uh, I'm not about. a big fan of John Legend, to yeah, be honest. fuck you, John Legend, yeah, I mate. I fucking hate John Legend. Um, you recently lost the finals in what many are considering the biggest upset in history. But, I mean, I know that you're sort of a proud migrant, and I've got a theory that Tommy, it was actually... Please. You, you guys got to shut the fuck up. You guys need to shut the fuck up. Like a coming to America, Eddie Murphy thing, where you lost on Look, purpose. So if you're my fucking girlfriend, you better call me Christian. You better not call me dumb. That's all I'm saying. Could help um, some of the migrants on Team NRG get their visa applications through. Would you care to comment on that conspiracy theory? That's an interesting conspiracy theory. Um, I'm not going to say that I purposely lost, yeah. you know? It might sound like a bit, though. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 no come on. I would never, nah, silly I'll never, never do that. Silly for me. Silly yeah, for me. silly. Um, I wanted to ask, do the uh, do the words digna petimus mean anything to you? I'm trying to figure out a way you could twist this to make me say something weird. It's not like a D's nuts joke. Okay, it, it isn't, is genuinely... it isn't digma petimus, no, what is That's that? That's the motto of the school that you went to. What school did I go to? You went to, God, let me get it down here. You went to Mount Gravett High School in Brisbane. <laughs> and that God was your school motto. Seek worthy things. I hope the you interview. can seek worthy things. I remember, I remember that. Thing there. I feel like this is like a Nardwa interview kind of thing. Yeah. You know who that is? I'm aware of who he is. Yeah. Yeah, that's my dad. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah, not really. Oh, okay. that would be crazy. I mean, uh, we could just go we with that. We actually spoke to a few of your teachers for this interview. Do you remember your math teacher, Nardwar Miss Lewis? Nardwar shit, bro. I love Nardwar. I, I fuck with Nardwar. That's why I fuck with Donjay. Perhaps your science teacher, Miss Coots. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I don't remember any of them. Well, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of dropped out of high school. Like, I, I had like a 30% attendance it's, rate. It's, a good, it's good because I didn't actually speak to them. I just made it up. Oh, I just okay. Googled what, what teachers went to your school. And oh, okay. <laughs> I hope that you'd be like, oh, my God, how do you know them? <laughs> but, no, I don't yeah, remember the place. <laughs> uh, you're a tall motherfucker. I mean, we can kind of see the difference here. I'm about five foot six, five foot seven, short king. Yeah, I only, only got like a two inch dick though, unfortunately. Me or you? Me. I was going to say, how do you know? <laughs> I'll find out soon. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus, hey, right, hey. Yo, what the <laughs> fuck is going on in this interview? What the fuck am I paying for here? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> God damn. In. There's actually a rumor been starting recently. You're going to be giving up the LCS with Zven, and the both of you are going to go and be franch a franchise pairing at the Piltover Pistons. What the fuck is the Piltover Pistons? Is that some like Vi team or something? No, it's a NBA team in League of Legends. NBA team the in Piltover League of Pistons, Legends. Yeah. NBA team in League of Legends. Yeah. They're trying to make like an NFT metaverse NBA in on the Rift. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's sort of like NBA 2K kind of. Yeah. Big but. sack, two inch kings. Yeah, bro. All sack, no dick. Fuck it. <laughs> LOL 2K. How does that work? Like, I'm gonna be I don't like, know. I'm not, the I'm, fucking, be like, I'm not the fucking game dev, mate. Like, I, well, you're made the, the one that brings game. it up, mate. You want to you know, fucking explain it to apparently me. be the franchise pairing for the Piltover Pistons. Apparently, there's some other tall players that are going to be going to the uh, the Bilge War Bilge Rats. That's another, uh, that's another franchise. Yeah, I've heard about those, actually. I heard they're spending big. Yeah, they're yeah, spending. They might, might be joining the Bilge Water. What was it? Bilge Water Bilge Rats? The Bilge War Bilge Rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you made You made a tweet. A year or so back, and I wanted to just ask you about this. I can't show you it, okay, but it says, okay. I'm going berserk at Coachella. I'm on cloud nine off a couple <laughs> C9 perks right now. I really, I really fudged up this time. Why did you say that bro, right now? That's I really <laughs> Look, I see this. Coachella, I'm on bro, fucking cloud nine off a couple C9 perks right now. I really, 
I really fudged up this time. Why did you say that? <laughs> it's crazy. Banger song, by the way. Mario Judah, like the only Sorry, one he dropped, and then he disappeared. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a fun time. I don't remember much, but. Yeah. I don't even remember making that tweet, to be honest, but I must have <laughs> No, I don't remember either. God yeah, damn. I got sent it by my up. researcher. Your researcher? Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck's a researcher? It's my uncle. Uh, you can't be on the per well, Number one, you're off the perkies at Coachella? <laughs> the fuck? Bro, I think you're doing the wrong drugs, I'm gonna be honest. You, you don't, you don't Careful, do the perkies dumb. for Coachella. Careful, man. dumb. The co streaming no. words, dumb. Hell no. Okay, okay. He's a used car salesman in a garage. That makes sense. Which is secretly my, my garage. Anyway, mm -hmm. shout out to my uncle. You have a you have a house. Yeah. Mm, surprising. Well, it's a bit bit demeaning of you, mate. But fair enough, you know. Yeah. Another school you went to later in life was the Islamic College of. You Brisbane. better not oh, have a fucking not house, bro. If you have a fucking house, and I'm paying this shit to get you there, I feel like I'm getting scammed. You better be fucking borderline homeless with how much I fucking paid. That's all I'm saying. That was actually the first one. First one, yeah, sorry, I apologize. Straight, yeah. uh, I mean, this is quite funny. I'm not joking. It was actually next to a Korean Presbyterian church. It was. So I wanted to know, was that the first time that LS tried to convert you? <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> He's had an eye on you from an early age, mate. I don't, Jesus Christ, I don't, I don't remember. LS, when, when did LS first convert me? Yeah. Honestly, I was a big LS. How old were you? When you went to the... Oh, when I went to the Islamic College of Brisbane, I was like five till nine. Did you ever like walk into school and there's just a man there? He's just sort there's, of saying... There was a lot of men in that get school. Get your blue comps, get your red comps. No, I don't, don't remember much mean? of that. <laughs> I did wear... I think I actually wore a, a white uniform, which which is in line, I, I don't think, know. Yeah. with his uh, MTG philosophy on draft. Yeah, yeah, no, that was the joke. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure you don't remember know what I that is. I don't fucking know. Yeah, exactly. It's just funny. It's okay. It's just funny. I don't even know what blue and red makes. I think it's purple, maybe. Pretty sure. It's like orange, no? We'll get my research on that. No, blue orange. red is purple. Uh, blue and purple makes or okay. Uh, blue uh, blue and red makes orange. Okay. Okay. Enough. Bro, I'm not sipping lean, bro. I'm fucking drinking black coffee out the solo cup at fucking 3:40 a.m. While losing money on fucking interviews of people talking about having sex and League of Legends. Alright? No, nah, I'm fucking best. Yeah, you might be right. Might be, might be purple, yeah. Um, I wanted to, one of the other questions I wanted to ask you was, um, actually, no, quickly, I wanted to say, obviously, LS was at C9 for a little bit of time, mm. and you're still quite good friends with him. Right. Do you ever try and bring any of his ideas into the office? Do you sort of go, guys, we need to pick, I mean, we share we a, lot pick of, a blue comp here? We share a lot of ideas about the game, so, I mean... It's like already like, I don't like actively think. Oh, uh, I'm gonna bring an LS idea into the into yeah. the draft or into the the game. But rather like it's just an idea that I we both probably agree with. Yeah. And then I uh, bring it into the bring it into the team. That's sometimes. Good. That's a fair answer. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you another question. Uh, do you think the LCS would become a lot stronger if we moved it to Nebraska? I didn't even know there was a place in America called Nebraska. It's like the suburbs. Basically, oh, what I'm answering, asking is, I think that uh, LA is... Bro, the mid all right, bro. Too fucking... Uh, like a thrown <laughs> of vice, so to speak. Mm. You've got, like, a lot of people that have their, you know, their jaws are swinging like Tarzan from LNG. The after rich, they go shut to the, the fuck up. Do you realize that that makes it worse? If you're fucking rich, 3.40 a.m., sipping fucking black coffee out the Solo Cup? That, that, that makes it even more fucked up. M festival on the weekend. Right, right. I think if we move it to like the middle of nowhere, the middle of bumfuck nowhere, then a lot of these indolent work shy Americans can really start to I mean, you're not one of them. You I'm, know. I'm Australian, so yeah, yeah. You know, you're not one of I'm them. Just a, I'm just a work shy some of these, Australian. Yeah, some of these indolent Americans, I think they really start to buckle down. What the down. fuck is an indolent? What, what is work that? Work shy, you know, lazy. Oh, I didn't even know what that word is. We dropped out. Now. Yeah, now I know. Thank you. No Appreciate worries. it. Do, you uh, do I think it would, I think it would help? Uh, honestly, I think we just like. That red side. I think we should just move to like actually, there's too many Chicago, demand, bro. So we're Why Chicago? It's cheaper and the ping's one, better. It was trying to target well, like, how's that gonna help? I mean, Nebraska ping has gotta be pretty I good. Think, it's gotta be like, I just think, I think it's something to do with LA, man. I think you guys just, you have your mocha, chocolate, caramel, pumpkin spice lattes in the morning. Mocha. And that's mm. never, there's guys in Korea they, right now in a PC they, bang. Do they not have those in Nebraska? Maybe, I don't think so. I think they might. No, they don't. I checked. I you checked. went there? I called ahead. The, yo, you actually went there. And, and <laughs> I checked. I was scouting. As yeah, the, you were scouting like, to well, see if we you could know, move you're on. You call yourself the LCS. We know what the LCS Players Association mean. 
Right. You know, we know you're an LCS, <laughs> LCS player or whatever. But as the commissioner... I'm not a player. I'm not. Okay. I, 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 I'm not. Okay. I'm a virgin. <laughs> I was going to say that's check, but I don't know that there's any way of checking. For yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, just, I don't like this. I don't like how this has gone. To be honest, let's yeah, take one minute left, to, mate. Let's take it back to a, a, a let's take it back to a, an old school one. Uh -huh. In 2020, when MNS played in OCE, he left because he said the solo queue was really shit. And you commented on a tweet from Legacy Esports saying, "Where's MNS?" Sort of in a funny little, "Where's he gone?" And then you uh, and then you ended up being on a team with him. What right. was your reaction when you heard that you were going to be on a team with MNS? Well, I yeah, thought it was damn. funny because uh, when uh, when he was playing in OCE, yeah. he was a uh, Friend, he was on a team with like basically all my friends. Yeah, they did not like playing with him. <laughs> <laughs> they did not like playing with him. Yeah. But I did not hear very good things. Yeah. <laughs> I heard he likes late night karaoke. Bro, most Koreans. I know do. a lot of Koreans do. Yeah. That's okay, it. so same thing. Yeah, no, in LA, bro, all the Koreans are fucking. Good shit, man. Good shit.